What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Stack. I'm Hello. Alex. I'm Justin. I'm Pete. <laughs> and we're going to be discussing a couple of awesome comic books for you today. Yeah, awesome. They just keep yeah. getting more awesome comic it's books. It's unbelievable. Comic books, yeah. up, up, up. <laughs> <laughs> so Invest let's, now. <laughs> let's get right to it. Uh, we're going to discuss the latest issue of Justice Society of America, yeah. otherwise known as Best Relaunch in DC History. Oh, Ooh. you're a nerd. You're a nerd. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. AKA. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I do think it's really good. Jeff Johns is really kicking it out. The art is excellent. We're finally yeah. past the Lightning Saga crossover with the JLA, which was great at first and kind of petered out at the end. So now we're back to actually it focusing on it. Stop, it Stop saying that. Totally LePage'd out. Totally LePage'd out. LePage'd out. But I wouldn't say we're past it. We're just kind of, you know, we're still kind of finding out what's going on with it. There's a little bit happened. of epilogue, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is going to be continuing into action comics, actually, as Superman goes after... Uh, some answers, I guess. Yeah. I thought you were going to say ads for a second. <laughs> Super ads starts going. We don't know where the story's going to go. It could yeah, go to could, ads. Could. Don't. So, Pete, uh, yeah. this comic book was. Uh, I was made really. You, yeah, I what was, was it. I got choked up. This uh, ink and paper. Yeah, made I've you never. Cry. I've never. No, I didn't cry. You've I was just never like, cried. I, I've at never a comic cried at a comic. Never. And I was just like. And this lady, I was on the subway. She was asking me for directions. I was just like, I need a minute. I just, I need a minute. <laughs> that counts as crying. I no, if you no. need a minute, <laughs> if you didn't have that minute, you would have been crying. No, no. It was good. It was a nice emotional tale uh, about this guy. <laughs> Did you also <laughs> cry? No, I didn't. I didn't cry. I, it was I, really. I had something else going on, maybe. And I, after I, I read this comic book, I went outside and I played some sports. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I had sex with women. <laughs> Many women. So I, think I, I, I had a comic book stuck in my eye. Yeah. Anyway, in terms of the actual story of the book, rather than hilariously making fun of <laughs> Pete for crying, uh, I didn't so cry. there's this character that in the first arc of the series, he's the grandson of yeah. uh, Commander Steel, who's an old JSA hero. Uh, he fights off these Nazi supervillains, get hits with this liquid metal. He's been in a coma, unconscious. He finally wakes up and finds that he's been encased in liquid metal. So he's super strong, uh, super <laughs> clumsy also. Yeah, just he can't because he feel anything. Yeah. He can't feel anything, Achilles so he team. can't control his body. Um, and his entire family has been killed by these evil Nazi supervillains. So Na The leader named Captain Nazi. There you go. Uh, very creative. <laughs> yeah. And he just wants to reconnect with the survivors of his family. So it's this emotional journey of his. And he's the kind of guy that wanted to be a football hero, but then he uh, had to have his leg amputated, so he was down on himself. And now he's made of steel. Yay. Yay. I, one thing, I love Dr. Midnight in this. And whenever That's he shows great. up, he just wanders around hospitals with an owl on his shoulder. Yeah. Man, <laughs> That's so hilarious. cool. Imagine if he was your doctor. Mm, what yeah. a time we've had. Uh, who would? <laughs> <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't even do oh, anything. Man. Anyway, great issue, great series. Uh, they're going to be focusing on the individual characters as they go on, so we definitely recommend picking it up. Yeah. Uh, something we can't wholeheartedly recommend picking up, unfortunately, is Stephen Colbert's Tech Jansen from Oni Comics. I, I think it's silly fun. It, I don't think it's as, as bad as you say it is. What, what do you mean by silly fun? When people say that, I'm like, yeah, it sounds stupid. It means it's like, oh, it's silly fun, like, ha, 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 you throw it away. Well, I mean, it's light, it's, you know, it makes fun of comics, it makes fun of, uh, you know, Stephen Colbert. It's just kind of a funny, silly little thing where it's just like, you know, it's not like, it's, you know, it's well written fun. as far as it's funny, but it's and like, It's you also know, silly. Yeah, yeah but you don't have to read the Are you ready for my ridiculous yeah, problem with sure. it? My ridiculous problem with it was that it tried to be funny. Yeah, that's what Agreed. I had a problem with it. What I like, you don't think it succeeded. You don't think it was funny. You can tell. You can see it. You can see it trying yeah. to be funny. Yeah, well, exactly. of course well, it's trying, trying to be funny. Justin and I are trained comedians. Yeah, and yeah. I don't know how. Oh, uh, I how guess you... I've, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just saying. from birth. He grew up in a comedic like I know. chamber. I, actually, I was born in the Laugh Factory. <laughs> well, my <laughs> point is <laughs> that <laughs> I was raised by Paul Reiser. <laughs> you can, <laughs> you oh, can still be funny while you're about... trying to be funny. <laughs> that's a horror oh, story. God, <laughs> yeah, the Paul Reiser. Um, <laughs> Stephen Colbert does this bit on his show, um, The Colbert Report. Where he is in love with this not these novels, Tech Chance and novels, and they've come up with a comic book that is kind of based on that. Yeah. And so it's just like a space guy who flies around and when it hits the techno babble stuff, when it hits the ridiculous alien sci-fi speak, yeah. it's great. It really yeah. works, and the art is really good as well. 
My problem is that they try to interject it and make it a funny book rather than I think it would be much funnier if it was just straightforward we're an insane space adventure. Yeah. That essentially makes no sense, but we're just barreling through. That's uh, what I would like a little better. The local gas station in my town used to I have novels agree. like that where it was like these ridiculous team of heroes, one's like a bomb expert who has one arm and like an eye patch guy and then a girl who's like saucy with two guns or something like that. And if they did something straight up like that where it was like these ridiculous adventures, yeah. but instead they tried too hard. That would be great. Uh, that being said, it's very well put together. I mean, Oni Press does, this is going to sound totally ridiculous, but a really good job of binding this book. The cover's great. Uh, it's a very, <laughs> hey, it's a nice package. <laughs> great bind. That's a weird nice way to say package. it, but it's a great binding. Great staple job. Yeah. That's all we can say. Wow. Yeah, you can tell that those staples were put in there. Well. <laughs> uh, there's going to be, we're going to get like a bunch of angry book binders calling up that show. Being yeah. Like, what are you talking about? All right, Don't let's cross move on to talk binders. about the uh, latest issue of the new Avengers. Wow. Considering the Skrull Armageddon storyline. Oh my gosh. Well, it's really setting the stage for the upcoming Skrull. It's going to be Skrulls everywhere. Marvel yeah. Universe, Skrulls. For the next year, year and a half. I hope not. Uh, in case you didn't read the last issue, uh, new Avengers were fighting ninjas over in Japan. Many ninjas. Many, uh, many, ridiculous like a flood of, of ninjas. Yeah. Turns out Elektra, who was leading the hand, the ninjas, uh, was a <laughs> Skrull. Mm -hmm. And so this issue is dealing with the fallout of that, where basically the new Avengers start to realize this isn't just one scroll. this is the start of an invasion. There have yeah, been yeah. scrolls here for years. Everything that's been going on in the Marvel Universe for years has probably been caused by scrolls. And it was cool, because they're all sitting in the plane, and it's like, hey, any one of us could be a scroll. It was a real Twilight Zone kind of feel yeah. to it, which I really yeah. liked. And yeah. Spider-Man being like, I'm not a scroll. Yeah. He's like, well, yeah, a scroll would say that. Yeah. He's like, no, no, seriously, guys, I'm not a scroll. <laughs> is that scrolly of me? Yeah, yeah, yeah is that, um, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it like was... we both know pizza scroll. Right. Come on. I'm not a scroll, guys. Yeah, a scroll would say that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's uh, it's great. Uh, you know, there's the little twist at the end. We were yeah. discussing this. I personally yeah. felt like it was a little unclear. Um, I think in the at the end of the issue, the plane crashes kind of mysteriously. Yeah. And Spider Woman uh, kind of zaps Wolverine and runs off with Electra's body. Yeah. Scroll. Yeah, she's definitely. A there's scroll. one panel where. Uh, Spider Woman has green eyes. Which many people have green eyes, but scrolls have green eyes for yes. sure. Right. Now, I don't know. I know I'm kind of a bad boyfriend for Spider Woman, but I don't remember what color her eyes are. Oh. Yeah, you're a total. Yeah, I've said really that to you many yeah, times. No, no. You're I, bad. Thought I also don't know what her favorite movie is. <laughs> uh, I do uh, know Lamont. Okay. Oh, oh. Uh, I, I thought it was weird how she was zapping Wolverine and. Yeah, well, the walking she, away and like yeah, Well, there's a couple of things that could be going on. Could she, she could zap people like that? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. her spider bite. Yeah, that's her power. Oh. It's kind of um, stupid. She could be a scroll. She could be throughout the issue. She's arguing we need to bring Electra's body to Iron Man because he's the biggest cop in the Marvel universe. Lame. Um, so it could be any number of things, but definitely this is just the beginning of the storyline. And it really sets the stage well. I'm excited. I think it's going to be a great thing. Like, who's a yeah. scroll? Yeah. All this mistrust. And, and I liked how they were kind of doing what the readers were. Like, yeah. like who is this if, if you did this, then you're yeah. a scroll. And like, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, so scroll. Yeah. One of the great things I think about New Avengers is that it comes out pretty regularly. I mean, pretty oh. much every three weeks we have another issue of That's New Avengers. That's true. That's really But you know, sometimes that doesn't always happen. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Uh, so there's actually a couple of things. Uh, one of the, the big news items this past week, Ultimate Hulk versus Wolverine, has had two of its six issues come out. The Shame. first issue, 2005. The second issue, sometime in 2006. The third issue has not happened yet. Finally, we have some news on it. Damon Lindelof, who is one of the executive producers of Lost, who's wow. writing the series, he is finally turning in, I think, the fourth or fifth issue of it. There so, were, he's turning, the script for the third is done. They're turning in the fourth. And then uh, Mr. Yu is going to be drawing it once he finishes up New Avengers. So what do you think about that? Is something like that, is that worth the wait? No. Well, I lose interest and get upset and then say, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to read it. Well, it looks good. I mean, the first two issues were great. They were awesome. Yeah. And the art was fantastic. It was the one where they tore World War in half. The Hulk didn't just left them. Yeah, yeah, that was, was crazy. Awesome. Uh, but on the on the page I saw this story on, he was like, it's really hard to write comic books. It's so hard. Blah, blah, blah. Like, come on. He writes a TV. <laughs> that's, yeah. what, that's what makes uh, uh, 42, or the 42. countdown. <laughs> well, <gotcha. laughs> yeah, the countdown so uh, crazy because it's weekly. Right. They come out every week. That's a feat in itself, you know, yeah. whether you Here's, like it or not. You know, I've been thinking about this two ways. I mean, generally, I've been of the opinion that 
if it's really good, it doesn't matter. You know, take as long as you need to, as long as you get it out. If it's good, if it's well done, take the time to actually write the story and do the art. Mm. The thing that's kind of changing my mind a little bit is things like action comics and detective comics in particular, yeah. which I love Jeff Johns' run on uh, action comics. I love Paul Dini's run on detective comics. I don't like the fact that they keep breaking it up with fill-in fill stories. Yeah. Yeah. That being said, I do want both of those books because they're the flagship books for DC to come out regularly. And plus, the film stories pretty much always suck. Like, yeah. usually it's just like, oh, here's a two-issue thing by a guy you never heard of, and something that's like a new villain or something that you'll yeah. never see again. And it's like, why not try something, maybe have two good teams that rotate in and out if that's the issue. Yeah. Plus, it's like, I feel like if you sign on for a project and you're doing something well, then make that a priority. Be like, hey, this is going great. I have a responsibility to the readers, the people that I'm getting paid for to deliver something on time. Yeah, like yeah. we're here every week. That's not a problem. Yeah. yeah, I don't take three minutes to talk, do I? <laughs> no. Which would be way longer. Well, let me ask you guys this. What is, what's the solution to this? What's the solution to this lateness problem? Well, is with... It uh, I mean, Please, lay you know, out some <laughs> so, well, I mean, the only option I was going to really lay out was something like... Slavery. Slavery, <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> what? Uh, no. What? What are your options? Well, the, protest. It's, uh, it's in no <laughs> riots. We let's do this, guys. We, the revolution begins. No. Don't buy it when Those it comes out. Pushing Pete. Pete. Towards yeah. The revolution. <laughs> the revolution begins and ends. Um, I think it's just planning. Like if Damon Lindelof, he should have all six issues in if that's before they launch it. Yeah. If they're not, if it's a worry, which it is with the TV writer, have it all done. Like the artist can work at his own pace. If it's because in that case, I yeah. feel like it's Damon who's slowing it down. I agree. It's just it's finish the script, finish the art. If it's a high profile run, because that's the only thing anybody has a problem with. If it's high profile, put it together in advance yeah. before you solicit it, before you send it out. Yeah. That way, nobody's going to be disappointed. I know. In the protest, the riots will, <laughs> will begin in the streets. To that. Yeah. You're so excited about this. Well, yeah. I just yeah, feel that like you know, it's like people complain about it, but it's like you know, if it really bothers you do something, like be like, hey, you know what, I'm not going to buy your freaking magazine because you took forever. Grassroots, oh, that's bro. no way of doing that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's nice to be busy, and hey, great, I got a lot of projects going on, and I'm doing Lost, woo, but like, come on, man, I'm here for the comics. You know, you sound a little, starting a protest, that sounds like yeah, kind of a, uh, really uh, upset the status it's quo. weird. weird. No. Oh! Oh, come on. All right, what do you guys think about these issues, both the issues of the comic books and the issue of lateness? You can let us know. There's two ways of doing that. First way, email us at tips at pulpsecret.com. The other way, you can call and leave your own review on a phone number, 213-291-1883. Let us know what you think about these books and everything we talked about on the show, and we will play your review or response here on the show. All right? And who's most like a scroll? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just uh, let us know who most is like a scroll. And that's it for the stack. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you, folks.